I mean, if you've ever watched a movie where you just watch the ending, you're like, okay, well, exactly. what does that mean? What does that do? You can't just have the climax. Exactly, exactly. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys, it's Lloyd here with The Single Guy, and I have a very special guest here. Miss? My name is Anna Elizabeth Grace, and I'm the founder of Valor. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, Anna. So tell us a little bit about what you do with Valor. And we were talking a little bit earlier about relationships and kind of a masculine feminine energy, but tell us a little bit about what you do. So Valor really was birthed out of my working with men and women as a matchmaker and in the dating industry doing date coaching. And I realized that there was a polarity between men and women. And I really wanted to fill that gap and have men and women come together in their strength, in their power, and maximize what they contain. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's a pretty important thing, especially in today's day and age where people are kind of getting away from that. People are getting very, very individualistic and they're not kind of, um, it's, they're having a sense of identity crisis uh, yeah. going on. So you talk a lot about uh, helping people find their identity, right? Yes, I do. So really learning your own identity is what's going to help you maximize your relationships. When you can connect to yourself, connect to your source, your higher power, you're able to connect with the opposite sex in a really dynamic way that frees you up to be yourself, frees them up to be themselves, and you can maximize your energies. Yeah. So that's definitely true. You know, with some of my clients, I get some of the younger guys or I'll get some of the older guys. And some of the older guys I'll get, I'll, let's say I get like... Um, a guy in his 40s who's a virgin, never been with any woman in his life. Okay. So he feels very self-conscious about that. He's like, well, mm. you know, I don't know if I could do it. It's been so long. I have zero mm. experience. Why would any girl want to get with me? And I'm like, well, you actually have a lot of great qualities as well. Older men actually know themselves a lot better mm. uh, than younger men do. And so that's one thing that I try and tell them a lot. Is that look, man? Even though you don't, even though you're starting out out at like a level that's not the same as everybody else, mm -hmm. you still have a lot of good things going on. So I find that's my great. older clients tend to work better in my program because they know themselves a lot better. But let's say you're you're getting a guy, and we talk about practical tips a lot on this channel. Mm -hmm. um, let's say you're getting a guy who's kind of in that position. I guess what sort of advice would you give him, or what sort of steps should he take um, to really start uh, making progress with his relationships? I think first and foremost, understanding what his strengths and his weaknesses are. It's not about being perfect, but it's about being authentic. And that's the A in valor, mm -hmm. authenticity. And really helping being authentic to yourself and who you are, realizing that you're never going to be perfect and you're not going to meet the perfect woman either. Yeah. <laughs> and then focusing on what you said what you said about, okay, my generation, what do I bring to the table that the younger men don't have? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of life experience. I think the other thing is leaving past relationships in the past. Maybe you learned some things from those relationships. Take what you learned, implement it in your next relationship, but don't hang on to the things that you failed in. Yeah. Just say, okay I learned from it I'm moving forward and I'm gonna maximize my next relationship in this capacity mm -hmm. yeah you mentioned uh, getting over past relationships so I deal with a lot of guys who have just gotten out of a divorce just yeah. gotten out of a like a bad relationship or something like that what are some steps that they can do to get past those those bad relationships well, I definitely recommend either a counselor or a coach, somebody that can keep you accountable to your goals and saying, okay, what went wrong in my last relationship? Divorce doesn't mean you're done with love. There's always a second chance or a third chance. But I think it's really important to wake up and say, this is a new day. I get to be who I want to be. I get to rewrite my story with another person. And there are so many beautiful people, so many beautiful men and women out there. There's got to be someone that you can connect with. The point is focusing on who you really want to connect with and what your goals are going to be together. Yeah, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's good. What your goals are going to be together. I like that, especially. You know, I had one client who, when he got he went through a divorce and he yeah. felt like oh I think that was the only woman he had been with at that time okay. and so he had no other experience with yeah. relationships and he felt like his whole world was crashing down and so what yeah. we did was we talked a little bit about his strengths his weaknesses and stuff yeah. and I found out that he's really good at playing the guitar that's one thing that he really enjoys awesome. and so what I recommended I was yeah. like dude go to these open mics that are going yeah. on and you're gonna find a girl who likes you likes your passion that you're showing with that sort of stuff Absolutely. so I think being be able to uh, help people find their strengths, help people rediscover themselves, I think is super important. Mm -hmm. So um, we talked a little bit about the masculine and feminine energy. How would yeah. you define those things? 
Wow. I mean, I think each person is an individual, so yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no one masculine energy that you can just plaster on all men right, or feminine right, right. energy that you can put on all women. Absolutely. But I think in general, what we need to understand is that men really need to pursue. They really need to yes. work. I'm so happy you said that. I'm so <laughs> they really need to yes. work for the woman, and, and that's ingrained in their DNA. And mm -hmm. when we understand masculine design, there has to be a healthy of respect for that. Mm -hmm. And I think, unfortunately, Unfortunately, we've kind of flipped the, the roles and women are wired to attract, to yeah, woo, yeah, to yeah. seduce. Exactly, exactly. And a lot of my work with men and women is kind of getting back to that innate divine blueprint mm -hmm. of letting men be the pursuer yes. and women being the attractor, yes. the seducer, <laughs> and really getting into that and becoming comfortable with that. I know that's not popular right now in our culture. Yeah, it's but... really weird to say. I'll get some, I'll get some guys who... Uh, uh, they'll, uh, they'll send me, hey Lloyd, I'm having trouble with this girl. And I'm like, well, what's going on? I'm like, well, she won't text me. And I'm like, she won't text you? No, you should be texting her. Have you texted her? And they're like, well, I said hi. And I'm like, you said hi? And you're expecting her to bend over backwards to try and yeah. get, that's not how it works, man. And like, so many guys are always looking for that thing. Oh, I, I want her to pursue me. I want to do this. Well, if you're a real man and you value yourself, you're going to feel confident enough to go after her. But too many guys are, I feel like they're too insecure uh, for those kinds of things. Are those some of the problems that you, you feel like you find with your clients? Yeah, I would say, first and foremost, a lot of men haven't had a good male role model. They haven't yeah, we're talking about that seen, too. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. haven't seen what it looks like for a man to pursue. Um, we have a lot of fatherless homes, and so they lack that male role model. The other thing is, and I'm certainly a feminist in certain aspects, but I think the feminist movement has really done some damage to yep. men and understanding that, that pursuit is different than being predatory. Exactly. I don't want to diminish that, you know, there has been abuses, but being a pursuer is different than being a predator. And mm -hmm. we really need to make a distinction between that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, you know, I really think it's important for men to understand how to bring substance when they're talking to a woman, not just <laughs> saying hi, but having open ended questions and reaching into her soul. Mm -hmm. And when you understand as a man that the feminine energy takes a little more of that wooing, that pursuing, right, right, that right. talking, that reaching into her soul and mm -hmm. not just into her sexuality. <laughs> um, you know, that right. that's foreplay for women yeah, is talking, absolutely. getting into my heart, getting into my mind. And then when, when you've primed a woman that way and you've really shown interest in her and you want her trust, then she's more willing to give you other intimacy. Absolutely. You know, I always talk about this on my channel. I say, if sex is like a movie, it's like an hour and a half long, like the foreplay doesn't just start in the bedroom. Like it starts at the dinner. It yes. starts when you're talking, even maybe when you first walk up. Absolutely. And so women care a lot. Like if the last, let's say the last five minutes is the sex, the actual sex, yeah. the first hour and 25 minutes is super important. Women care a lot about that hour and 25 minutes. Otherwise, the last five minutes means nothing. But too many guys want to fast forward through the first <laughs> hour, and hour and a half to get to that last five minutes. And that's not how it works. I mean, if you've ever watched a movie where you just watch the ending, you're like, okay, well, exactly. what does that mean? What does that do? You can't just have the climax. Exactly, exactly. Pun intended. <laughs> 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 well, cool. It was great to meet you, Anna. I'm happy you're my users. Got to meet you, too. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get you at the Absolutely. seminar that I'm doing next Thursday uh, in that Santa Monica. Great. I'd I'm love excited. to have you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, if they want to find you, how can they find you? So you can mainly find me on Instagram, one Anna Elizabeth Grace. And I also have a website, www.purevalor.com. I'm going to be posting content on there. So thank you for this opportunity. Of course. Yeah, if you guys liked what you had to say, please check her out on Instagram or her website. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you. I'd like you guys. Good luck out there.